Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today, Lawalawa has now signed for Luton. Now this video will be hopefully nice and short and sweet. Don't need to tell you too much about Lawalawa, but I want to give you my opinion on what I find of the situation regarding him and the club. Now firstly, I actually wanted Lawalawa to sign when he originally got the offer. Obviously a decision was made and Luton didn't want to sign him, didn't want to break our wage budget. And fair play to the club for doing that. If you want to be financially stable, you obviously got to have strict morals and strict like rules. Us as a club didn't want to do that and didn't want to overspend on Lawalawa, which I can understand. And yeah, fair point from the club's point of view. Firstly, I've got three points which I want to bring up. Now, did we sign Lawalawa because we missed out on other targets and he was the easier option to go for? as we have a past experience with him and we were just able to give him what he wanted. So is that was that an option? Did that happen like in the last like two weeks or so since he rejected the deal? I personally think that may be the case that we were trying to get other strikers or like, attacking players coming in, but we, we just couldn't and Lawalawa obviously was still a free agent and was available to pick up. Option number two, Lawalawa contacted the club or said, you know what, actually, hang on a minute, I can't get a better deal anywhere else. I can't find another club, so I will sign that contract deal which you did offer me last time. Hopefully that is the case because that would be better for the club. It means that we haven't broken our wage like restrictions and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully that is the option which I'm hoping was the case. Option three... The club obviously contacted Lawalawa and said, you know what, we give you the money, we give you what you want. Hopefully that isn't the case because that means the club are not sticking by what they said in the first place. They're not being tough, they're not being ruthless enough. So hopefully that isn't the case, but yeah, I think it's option one, but I would love it to be option two. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What option do you think? has happened regarding the wild It has to be at least one of those three options. The reason why I bring up money is because it can't be down to the playing side of things. And Graham Jones said with Luala what like yeah in an interview about Luala, he actually said that they both agreed on like the way the club is going to move forward, the playing, the playing style, the amount of game time which Luala is going to get. So they both agreed on that. It for me it was it was down to the contract negotiations, bonuses, goals, like wages. And I think it was down to wages, let's be honest. And I don't blame a player wanting more money. However, I'm a type of guy who thinks if you want more money, if you want, if you want more stuff, you have to go out and earn it. Yes, you've won the league with Luton. However, you've only scored two goals and you've only created six goals. Like for me, it's not, you've not like set the world alight, even though he's done really well with us and he's performed really well. However, you're not messy. You're not, you haven't smashed over 20 goals. You haven't smashed over 20 assists. Collins, for me, is an example who deserves more money. He's been consistent in the last two seasons scoring goals. You know, he's doing what he's paid to do. Now, the club haven't actually announced how long Lawalawa's contract is. I believe it's a one-year deal. However, I reckon if he hits certain, like, targets throughout the season, that deal would get extended. Or if we stay up in the championship, then the deal would get extended as well. In today's game, contracts have so much, like, clauses, bonuses in them. And yeah, anything like we don't like silly stuff could happen. You know, he could like if score five goals and get a tank like a grand like bonus. You know, stuff like that. Something silly can be in contracts, and that's what happens when a player has a poorly advised agent, which I believe Luwalawa does have, because if he was smart enough, he would have accepted the first deal which we gave him. But it does seem a little bit weird, this whole rejected the contract and then coming back again. But I'm happy he's back. Hopefully he proves himself again. I feel like he's, still, he's now got to prove himself again because of what's just happened. Fans do love him. He is an exciting player. He's powerful. He's got skillful. He's got pace. And for me, that is vital for the championship. So I'm looking forward to seeing him again. I feel like we needed him. For the rest of the transfer window, we've literally got like less than two weeks left until the season starts. 
I believe we need another. We need a striker. I know we signed a while ago, but he ain't a striker. He's a, like an attacking player. I feel like we need a centre back. That AFC Wimbledon, well, former AFC Wimbledon player, which we had on trial at Luton. The, his name was called Deji. I forgot his last name. He's just signed for Charlton, so that means he's ruled out. We're still rumoured to be signing that Dion Calls from um, that Belgian team. He's a right back. I still think we need a right back as well. For me, we need three players in three positions: centre half, right back, and a striker. If we can get those three like positions sorted before the window ends, that'd be fantastic. If not, then if not, then we have to probably settle for loan players throughout the season. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like if you did. Comment down below. What option do you think has happened regarding the situation with Luala? Why? Let me know. Or if there's a different option, comment down below yourself what that option could be. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.